Hi, it's Mark at you know, uh, the United States Conference on AIDS. And you know, you when you walk into these conferences sometime, you run into people and you just have to pounce on them because you're so excited to meet them. People like... Raji Narine Singh, trans activist, author, and actress. You might recognize you from season two, three, and four of Botch. <laughs> she needs no introduction because she does her own. <laughs> I can't help myself. I know. Well, you know how much I I, I already adore you. Oh, you yes. Know? I, I feel do. like we're fast friends already. Thank you for the love. Oh, you're welcome. We kind of share a view of life about turning things into things that help other people. Tell me about, talk to me about that. Make your mess your message, and Lord knows I've had a lot of mess, okay? <laughs> but yes, I think I was saying how like it's such a blessing to be able to take something that was at one time I felt could have been my demise and have it be so many wonderful blessings, use it to advocate, educate, and do my activism. And I feel the same way about living with HIV and about being a drug addict in recovery. I have to be transparent about that because I know there's somebody out there that might benefit from hearing about it and hearing about coming out the other side and, and having pride and, and, and uh, feeling good about myself. Exactly, because it's like seeing someone like you, meeting someone like you, connecting with someone like you is such a blessing. Long-term survivor, okay? Yeah. And so many people lost their lives. We stand on the shoulders of so many, but when I meet someone like this <laughs> adorable long-term survivor, I just get so happy yeah. because we've been through so much and we've come so far, but we still have a long way to go. Well, and I like sticking around. Yes. I like sticking around at conferences like this and being involved in the fight because first of all, I, I do it for a lot of people who aren't here that, I, that were friends of mine. And I do it because HIV is still so fascinating and it's social justice. It's social justice for trans people. It it's really social is. justice for LGBT people, for, for sex workers, exactly. for people uh, who are addicted to drugs. It is, it is. I say, if you see me in the supermarket, if you see me at the post office, that's an act of activism. Just yeah. me being present, uh -huh. living my life as my authentic self, that alone is activism. Now, you know, a lot of us probably were first familiar with Raji, not from her 20 years of working as a trans activist. Maybe we didn't know that about that, but we saw her on Botched. You did. On how many seasons now? Uh, seasons <laughs> two, three, and four. Okay. okay, you just go Google them right now, watch them on streaming, because exactly. she's amazing, because your heart shines through. Thank and you. they were t correcting some surgeries that you had had early on yeah. um, to correct your appearance, and they did a terrific job, and I hear that they were very nice to you. They were very nice to me. I love both of the doctors. Dr. Debro and I, were both ham, so we hammed it up. <laughs> I feel very blessed, but you know the cliche, oh, beauty is in from within? And I say it because it sounds so cliche, but it's so true. Yeah. I was forced to live it. I had to walk around for 10 years with a very disfigured face. Mm -hmm. And I had to believe that I had, still had some beauty in my inside, you know, to share with the world and to, to be here and that I was here for a reason. Mm -hmm. So I had to live that. Mm -hmm. And um, I just feel like we all, you know, are here for a reason. Like you right now and me right now meeting in this no. moment. Mm -hmm. this, this in itself is just amazing, you know? Well, I keep telling Raj, we've, 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 we've broken into tears two or three times uh, <laughs> since we've known each other. And because I can't let anybody cry alone around me and there's so much to be joyful about a lot of it is joyful tears it is it is a lot of it is joyful and 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 i was as i was telling him earlier i have to be careful because if i keep it up this mascara is just going to come <laughs> rolling down my face and lord knows i love my makeup if anyone that knows raji knows how much i love makeup but um yeah no there, there are they are tears of joy because i oftentimes i have to pinch myself I can't believe I'm still here. Yeah. I mean, going through all of the discrimination that trans people go through, mm -hmm. that alone, then on top of it, you know, dealing with my black market injections and yes. all of the medical stuff that I, I've had to deal with that. So yeah, I have to sometimes pinch myself and say, my God, I'm still here. And, and of course, we are here at yeah. United States Conference on AIDS 
Um, and you, one of your messages is that 48% yes. of trans women in their lifetime that's right. May test HIV positive. That's right. And that's why I am here. Like, when I was asked to come, mm -hmm. my thing was, listen, I have to step it up for my trans community. 48% of transgender women in their lifetime will test positive for HIV. And the only way that it's going to truly be eradicated is if our community rallies together, number one, and if the agencies really focus on the trans community. So, um, yeah, it's so important, and that's why my core reason for being here, and of course, to be here and meet fabulous people like you, <laughs> you know? I, um, I don't know, I, I was sharing with you earlier about my friend Ronald Allen, yeah. um, you know, 1985, 21 years old, um, you know, went away to school, beautiful dancer. He was so talented. He went to the Philadelphia School for Performing Arts and then got a scholarship to Juilliard. Went away for one semester and came back and he went for the second semester, but he was home early. I saw him on the train and I said, Ronald, what are you doing home? You should be at school. And he was coughing. Mm -hmm. And he said to me, he said, well, I'm not feeling good and I had to drop out for this semester. He's like, but I'm gonna go back. He's like, but you know, the doctors are trying to figure out what's wrong with me. This was in March. By the end of the year, by New Year's, Ronald was gone. So I have lived with Ronald in my heart and all of the other ones that lost their lives. We truly do stand on their shoulders. Yeah, yeah we, we really do. You know, there's nothing much more to say other than if you watch the show at Botch like I did, sitting at the couch with my husband going, who is this amazing woman with all the heart and the spirit? That's who she is. This yes. is the real thing. The real thing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. My pleasure. Thank you what for having me. What a joy to meet me. you. Oh, it's an absolute joy. I feel it. I feel the love. <laughs> Good. Thank you so much. Peace and blessings. And to you too. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. Love, peace and blessings. <laughs>